welcome to today's episode of Let's Play. My name is Ahmad Nassar, and the game that I chose is called Penguin Diner. Um, this game, it's like a diner dash type of game. You know, you build your cafe, you serve your customers on a timely matter. There's upgrades in the shop that you could buy based on your profits every day, and yeah, let's just get right into it. I played this game a little bit earlier today just to get a, a feel for it. But um, I'm not too far into the game at all, and you know you guys can just pick up from where I'm at and definitely understand what's going on. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, right now I'm actually on day 11, and every day the, the amount of money that you need for the cafe to survive goes up by like $10 a day. But based off of the upgrades that you buy for the cafe, you get more money from the customers every day. So initially I started with getting maybe 10 or $11 from every customer after I served them their meals. But uh, right now I'm getting about 18, 19, $20. Or if it's like a double customer, I'll get like 28 or maybe even in the 30s, which is pretty good considering everything. And I actually have the fastest um, shoe speed right now, making me go run really fast. And um, yeah, uh, customers are coming quickly. Unless I'm just speaking too much and being a little bit distracted. Yeah, and they're coming in doubles too. Oh god. <laughs> this is hard to keep up with, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, seems to have calmed down quite a bit. You know it's bad when you can't even serve the customers and they have to wait online over there. Ah. This is actually where things start to get interesting though, because it's like once you actually have the, the amount of customers coming after the other, it's like it's a continuous flow of things. But it really depends on how quick you get to each customer because the longer they wait, the longer the people in the line have to wait and it's just a whole like chain reaction of things in my opinion. But the day seems to be ending and we hit above the, the money needed for the store so you know, I'm definitely going to upgrade some stuff today in the store. Uh, I'll probably be buying a bigger TV just to uh, increase the time that customers can wait without getting angry. I think that's pretty important. And we missed almost a hundred dollar profit which is really good. Yay! $112 profit? Yeah. And with that I could actually buy the TV. Oh. No, I don't have enough money for this big TV. <laughs> okay, one more day. Day 12. We could do this. Also, a good tactic is to put the bigger group of people on the bottom, just so you can get to them quicker. And have it like filter out really fast. At least that's what I do and what I think is helpful for the store. Also, don't get confused by uh, people ordering the same things. Always give it to the person to order it first, just so the, the duos can move together. <laughs> it's getting very fast paced. Um, and there's no spots for him right now, unfortunately, but I think they'll be leaving soon. Yep. Everybody come here. Every time I hear that hello, I get flashbacks because they keep saying every time they order food. Hello. hello. Next time I go to a restaurant, hello. the only thing I'm going to say when I'm ordering food is hello. Hello. So many duos right now. I'm overwhelmed. Oh god, yeah, there's so many of them. Hey, yeah, but they're all giving thirty dollars. I'm not complaining because I make the profits go by real fast. 
people to uh, get through but you can already tell like besides these people paying and finishing we're still over a hundred dollars so that's really good to me and now I can actually buy the, the TV I'm not sure what happens after you buy all the upgrades in the store I think that's what you have to do for it to unlock the rest of the things like uh, you could change the theme of the restaurant the clothes that the customers wear no and even the chefs you can upgrade the chefs which gives you like a new array of food which I think is really I want different foods, I'm getting tired of it already. Alright, new TV. Yay. So now that I own everything in this, I I don't know what happens next, but uh, I guess we'll see. Oh, and also, when you get bigger TVs, it changes what you see. So I think that's really nice. But also, yeah, every day that goes by, it does get harder because um, the customer frequency does get faster. Like, it was not this quick when on day one, it was about 25 seconds each time, but now it's like 5 seconds, and it does get very overwhelming if you don't press the right combination of things at once. So always go to the people that raise their hand first, um, just so their orders get announced, and the chef can make it quick. I also want to make sure the tables are always clear because if you leave the money there, then they can't take down. And that's a problem. <laughs> Even though this food is like super poorly drawn, I'm still getting hungry just by thinking about it because I really want a milkshake right now. Speaking of which, my friends are actually buying me McDonald's, so after this stream, I'm going to look forward to that slushy or no, McFlurry. And I just keep seeing the, the TV in the back, it's just going on and on about penguin UFOs, which I think is hilarious. It's called PPN, penguin, penguin something news, which is so cute. I used to have this weird obsession with penguins when I was younger. I think it stemmed from watching Happy Feet, but like, I always wanted a pet penguin. They're just so cute. Also, after a certain amount of time, you can start to predict when people will be done eating their food, or when, you know, like, it just makes everything more efficient and clean. Today's profits do not look that great. I'm wondering when I will be able to unlock the other features. Alright, a little less than a hundred, but nonetheless I think it's still pretty good. Yeah, I don't I don't know what to do now that I own all this, but I guess I just keep going. Queues lining up. I think this is where I flop. There's so many people waiting. Ah, I forgot about them. Alright, guys, sit down. Sit down. Thank you. 
I'm like so hyper focused right now not to mess up. <laughs> and at some point I just forget who ordered what. I just run around until it moves out. Compared to yesterday's profits, it will be a lot more today just because of the amount of like double people that came in. <clears throat> I just, I just, I'm just still super curious. I want to upgrade my chef. Like that's really what I want to see before I am mastering for the day. Yeah, that's a lot of profits today. It's crazy. Oh my god. Well, before I continue, um, yeah, let me end the... I've been trying to figure out how to turn the music off for like the longest, so I'm really glad that I actually got to do it. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do today as well, just to see what happens after, because I think it goes on a, like, a weekly basis, and we're about to finish the second week. Oh yeah, a lot of people are storming in already, and it just started. Oh, it's actually kind of hard to play this without the music, because now I can't hear their, the sounds that are actually essential to the game. But actually, it makes me relax, because now I'm not as stressed. <laughs> I was like, dang, I keep hearing the noises. It is making me stressed out. But now it's just nice and calm. You know, these are just virtual penguins. They're not going to hurt me. So I don't know why I feel so scared. But I really connect to like restaurant games because it's like, I personally wanted to open up a cafe one day. And it's like, it's like training, you know, like you don't want to disappoint people. Even if they're virtual, you know, <laughs> still reputations are being made. Oh, you can see they're getting angry. Oh my god. Ah. It's okay. They they got their orders taken very quickly. See, when I get quiet, it's when I'm very concentrated. I'm looking at the profits though, so it's, it's going pretty good so far. And we dealt with this line very quickly, so I'm glad. Yes, I see you, sir. And we're closed. Okay, sir, I don't know why you're getting angry. You see that all the tables are taken. Staring at him until he's done. People that come when we're closing are the worst type of people. He doesn't leave a fat tip, he's not coming back. Ten dollars! Sir. Okay. 
All right, so after playing this game, um, I think my overall rating of it would be, I'll say six out of 10. I'm giving it some extra points just because of the nostalgic purposes behind it. Like, yeah, I used to play this a lot when I was younger and it's just a lot of memories are attached to it. But honestly, like these kind of games do stress me out. So I probably wouldn't play them again. And it's also, it's like a slow grind type of game. If you're not the type of person that's into repetition, doing the same thing every day, or just grinding to get to a certain point in the game, then you probably wouldn't enjoy it. But for me, I like these kind of games. I like building uh, like a store or a population or a city. Like I used to be very into city building games when I was younger. So I think those are really fun. Maybe next time I'll play one of those when I stream. But for now, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Hey.